Biggest loser trainer, Shannon Ponson. Welcome back, hey, Shannon. Shan. Good morning, guys. Always great to be back here you in know, Perth. Shannon... Except you promised me hot weather. Oh, <laughs> you guys bloody... are cracking jokes. It's freezing out there. It was this morning, but Come did you see on. last week? Last uh, week, there last were week. warnings yeah. on the news, Shannon, saying don't go outside without your shoes on. You guys sound about burn. as weak as my contestants <laughs> oh. at the moment. You know, one of the girls from the, that was here for the surf life saving said when she arrived, it was like 42, when she was driving in from the airport and a telephone pole caught on fire in <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. The, the national news is showing all pictures of floods over in mm. Queensland. What about the bloody fire in the sky mm. over there? It's oh, mm. It is mm. crazy. But the biggest loser back on, and we've been talking about it, Nathan straight away jumped into it. The people that you've got on, oh. every single year you think you couldn't find bigger wankers. You know what? You, you tried, but you know and, what? And if I was a producer, I would go... I'm going to give Shannon the good team, you know. Cause For you, once, I, I deserve a break. You, you know, <laughs> but they you've got Hamish and you've got the, uh, the other one that keeps collapsing. Ryan. Ryan. And the thing about it is I would have thought that people that are going on The Biggest Loser are doing it because they see it as their last hope to gain some health and yeah. fitness and that, yeah. you yeah. know, they've tried everything else and these people are desperate. And in the first week they're eating three steaks for dinner, <laughs> Shannon. you think they'd make the most of the opportunity, You'd wouldn't you? Think Seriously. So, so tonight you that's, we're going to be seeing that. Aren't we? Um, all oh, the hidden no. footage. Tonight, tonight, mm. the contestants are given a one of opportunity not to eliminate someone in the way. Oh. oh, really? Okay. But it has to be unanimous. Oh, no. So one person. these one contestants person. came in yes. to the biggest loser with the stigma and judgments of being morbidly obese. So they come to us the first day and go, it's not fair. We judge by society. We just need a break. People sure. need to be more compassionate and caring. One week into the show. They're Stabbing given the, in the power yeah. not to eliminate someone, and the bastards turn. <laughs> the knives are sharpened, well, and they turn. They're hungry. All of a <laughs> really hungry. We were just horrified because they didn't actually have to get rid of someone. And so the person you said it had to be unanimous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many people dissent? How many people? You're just gonna have to wait. And oh, see. okay. You are because it is horrific. Lovely. Love and it. Four tra- I've never seen the four trainers so angry. Yep. Hey, Jeez, Jan, they well, get angry well, a lot. Well, here's the thing, Jen. I, I can't believe you... I mean, in your normal life, you're training people because they're desperate to get fit and, and you're looking after them. And when you do this show, you're dealing with some people who say it to your face, yeah, I'm ready to do this stuff, but continuously, their character is just... Mate, my weak. bloke wrote it down on a piece of paper. I swear, <laughs> Shannon, to do whatever it takes. I know! I'll give you 110%, mate. You're my yeah. wife. This is the next thing. Oh, what, get lost, up early and who train. Lost, who lost 600 calories? Not me. Who, tra- <laughs> yeah, who trained this morning? Oh, mate, I was a bit tired. I was a little tired. From what? You know All what? you've got to do is eat, sleep and train. You're at camp because loser, you're nitwit. You've got no appointments. But I believe no the TV. eating is wearing them out. Yeah. Because <laughs> do you get angry? To get through. Sh- oh, I, get I, angry, I, I wanted to ju- crawl into the TV and I know I feel sorry for him, but I just wanted to slap Hamish in the face <laughs> and just snap him out of it. Seriously. I do, mate, I do. When it's like that, I do because I just take that as total disrespect. That mm. night, I'd stayed up till 11 o'clock and put the boys diets mm-hmm. and individual training programs working around their injuries for the entire week onto spreadsheets and giving them individually none of the other trainers had done that and I thought this would give my guys the break they need the leg up and all they had to do was get up and train and they said they went to bed because they were tired and I was up mm-hmm. till 11 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> yes I was angry I have to say if I was on a team I'd want to be on your team I just I, I like your personality as a trainer the most um, Tiffany last week Beck the blonde girl oh, Beck's yeah. there and Beck's standing up in front of everyone she's waiting and she she basically said, look, uh, my problem is I see a beautiful girl when I look in the mirror. And then Tiffany comes on and basically goes, she's delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you know what? I reckon Tiff has stepped up this year. Yeah. She's called her and she does. Beck really didn't, when she came in, really didn't think there was a weight issue there. I think she had but sort why of would you nominate her yourself for, why, would you, why would you nominate yourself for the biggest loser well, you if you didn't what? think quite you had often, a weight issue? You know what? Quite often they're not nominating themselves. And I think that's the biggest problem with my team. Like Ryan, 242 kilo. Whoa. And I think everybody that he knows goes, you should be on the biggest loser yeah, because right. you could do it. And they'd change your life. You'll go, oh, yeah, I could. And put in half an application. And then the wheels of nature take on. And all of a sudden he's there. You're and he stuck thinks, with him. Jesus, what have I got to do now? <laughs> you know? And because you don't get to be morbidly obese from being, you know, half a good bloke and a bit of a mm. goer. Oh, it takes effort. It takes a hell of a lot of effort, yeah, <laughs> on the reverse side, mate. Okay. So you don't get it by being tough and by being sort of um, proactive. Mm. You get to be morbidly obese because there's idiosyncrasies in your character mm. that are letting you down.
Yeah. Now, let's talk about your book before you go, because you, you've written a book. Oh, yes. I did write a book. I'm, yeah. I'm a fair way behind the other trainers. Most of it's them are up amazing. to their fourth or fifth oh, book. Yeah. Shannon's I'm... taken upon himself to write the next Harry Potter book. It's the eighth <laughs> book. It's Harry the Potter wizard. and the Ab Cruncher. So, what's different about yours? Uh, well, mine is me talking with the reader. So, rather yeah. than talking at them, every couple of pages I've got anecdotes from my life, what happened in my football career and what's happened on the way through to allow me to get to the judgments and decisions that mm. I do and my philosophies. Rather than so, just sort of dictating at them. Rather than just people. talking at them. And it gives them an insight into me, into the reason that I've got there and how I've got there. Um, and I really, it's just been a cracking book. I really enjoy it and I'm, I'm really proud of it. So, Shannon, it's called Harden Up. Yep. which rings a bell to me because I bought a horse many moons ago and it was a, tr- it was a trotter and yeah. we got it from Adelaide only on the fact that its name was hard enough. You know what? <laughs> um, Isn't what? that where they see who can run the least the yes. least slow? It's like yeah. race walking. Yeah. Talking yeah. about hard enough, um, uh, your wife's pregnant. My wife? <laughs> Worst segue ever. I thought it was great. Well done. <laughs> that was wonderful. My wife is pregnant, mate. <laughs> Give yourself a little pat on the back. Well so, done. Well How done. many weeks in are you? She's uh, 17 weeks now. Well done, oh, mate. you're nearly so halfway. First one, yeah. So we've got the um, the all deciding scan coming up soon, but I don't think we'll find out if it's a boy or a girl. We'll just let it go. Really? I like mm. the surprise, too. Mm. I like yeah. the surprise, we'll too. That's exciting. All right. Well, if you want to congratulate Shannon in person, you're doing a book signing today at Carousel at 11 a.m.? Carousel at 11, yeah. Yep, lovely. Go down and see Shannon and touch him. He loves, actually, <laughs> this is, we have to say this, Shannon loves just random people touching his abs. Lift um, his shirt up and rub and your hand down the washboard. No, no personal boundaries at all. You can grab his bum. He loves it. Random people just, <laughs> random people coming up to me in the bar going, oh, mate, you're that bloke from Biggest Loser. I thought you would have been bigger. You want an arm wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love it when blokes do that too. Oh, wow. Or a push-up competition in the middle of the RSL or something. Great. <laughs> Bring it That's on, fun. Shannon says. It, Shannon. Bring it on. Oh. Biggest Loser is 7 o'clock tonight on Channel 10. Good to see you again, Shannon. Thank you. Come Thanks, back guys. and see us again. Always good to be here.